it's been a crazy few days. Still is quite crazy. Got a good hour and a half's worth of practicing this morning, which was really good. Really needed it. And um, I was listening to Gregory Porter from his show at Glastonbury. Some lovely, lovely sax parts in there. I need to find out who that saxophone player was. Really, really enjoyed his playing. Didn't recognise him. Small, small guy. Really good player though. I've got Max coming around in a minute to go through some of the um, video from the Jazz Vespers recording. And on Monday next week, I'm doing the mix and the edit. So it's kind of the project's moving on. So what I'm trying to do now is sit with my laptop, trying to get through just general stuff and then I really need to start getting a marketing plan together for what's going to come next. I don't like thinking about marketing strategies for albums. There's, it becomes too much of a, a product and not what it is, which I hope is a work of art, a work of music. Um, and it's kind of like you determine the value of it. But I realize financial realities of that. I mean, you know, no one makes a lot of money playing jazz, no one. You know, you name me the top five jazz musicians, if we could agree on them, and I tell you now, none of them are earning big bucks. And even further down the food chain, like I am, it really isn't profitable. But I have to, I have to make it work. Spending time doing it now, rather than teaching or practicing or chasing other work, is is time consuming and taking up time I could be earning money. So, you know, it's got to be right. So I'm going to hopefully pop a video together soon after Monday when we've edited the album just to generate some interest so if you're watching the vlog please share it um, if you're one of our Kickstarter people you really do want to share it because you've got a, such a kind of massive impact and even if you didn't contribute to the Kickstarter you still can be part of promoting helping me not promote maybe is the wrong word but share but we've got to cover the costs I mean you know the, the uh, um, studio I've just sent there a next set of invoices through and I'm there going oh so yeah <laughs> we'll see playing in the background right now is Joshua Revan and Brad Melder's um, track from their new duo album it's not out yet in fact this is just kind of a pre-release thing that's been over but if you've ever doubted the impact music can have I came down the stairs and I thought I was going to vlog about how pretty much pissed off I am with everything at the moment. How I found out some very close relatives who I love and respect so dearly. Right, well, I'll leave it there, but this whole EU referendum, the political debate, just the way things are going at the moment, just really, really, really getting me down and then come and listen to some, to some great music and it's just lifted me so much and yeah never underestimate the power of great music it's really so they're playing Ornithology by Charlie Parker it sounds like it's on a live gig I think Josh uh, spoke to me about this when he was doing his gig uh, down the road in November but yeah, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy it and just, just chill out and understand that music opens a, opens a door to a brighter time. Into uh, where? Into two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Round here. Yeah.
The Jazz Vespers project is built around a speech given by Dr. Martin Luther King to the 1964 Berlin Jazz Festival. I was very fortunate to produce um, an event at Methodist Central Hall Westminster uh, back in October last year as part of Black History Month and we focused on the speech that Dr. King gave and particularly his um, sentence on jazz being about speaking for life, about taking the harshest realities of life, um, turning them into music and coming out with a new hope and that's what we aim to do with the tracks we've got on the album and the music we've chosen, the songs we've chosen and hopefully through our soloing as well. Thank you. 